all right so we're trying a new we're trying a new format today uh Hi. we kind of rearranged a little bit that's pd patinosaurus photo ninja i'm not a patinosaurus yet uh today <laughs> yet yet <laughs> <laughs> so today uh we're gonna do what's the theme for this series? animal misconception animal misconception so what was the last one dinosaur Dinos- oh dinosaur misconceptions okay so this, this is, is animal misconceptions like modern animal misconceptions yeah. modern animals like me <laughs> so uh so what is our first what is our first beast of the world bald is, eagle is bald eagle not me yeah. my not family yet. my family doesn't do that no no my family just goes Has gray hair. Yeah. yeah just goes gray so anyway so the bald eagle which okay and the bald eagle are national symbol yes because uh who was it thomas jefferson did not get his way no Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin wanted the uh, turkey. The turkey, the American turkey. Yeah, yeah. He wanted the American turkey, but well, actually, no. The tur- there's only the there's only the wild the tur- turkey. The wild. Oh, the wild turkey. turkey. The wild yeah. turkey. He wanted the wild turkey. So instead, they made the wild turkey booze, as I understand it. I don't really drink, so but I, I, also they made it like the Thanksgiving dish. And we all kill them once a year in celebration. And we're about to do here. that. It's almost yeah. We just yeah. slaughter turkeys. Yeah. Um, well, not wild ones, except the one that the president pardons. Pardons, because and he goes and lives his life on a turkey farm, happily, joyfully, forever, until not anymore. I guess. Yeah. So anyway, that's weird. Left turn. American eagle is actually much bigger than this. Generally, yeah. you couldn't hold but one in your hand. But that's a safari figure. It's a safari. So yeah. this is actually a so, good representation then. Yes. Okay. But in real life, bald eagles, the females can get up to 12 pounds. Okay. The males can only get to 8 pounds, though. So the females are actually larger than the males. But see, I see, you know, I still, when I look at birds, uh-huh. I think that bird's huge. Yeah. No, and they're like 12 uh, uh, pounds. 12 pounds. Yeah, because they're... Yeah. They have hollow bones to help them fly better, like, so they can fly. Yeah, that still amazes me. Mm-hmm. So... And they um, – so the the big giveaway on adults is the white – so they're called bald. Yes. Because they have the, the white. The juveniles are just all brown. All brown. So they, for probably for camouflage in a tree. Yeah. And how many little eaglets uh, do they normally have? In I, a, I, it's only a couple. I, I think it like – Like two or three or something. It's two or three. It's not like 12. No. I'm, trying, I'm, I'm going to see if the very good source of Wikipedia has any <laughs> – And – they basically fish. Yes. I mean, they, they can eat other stuff, but they Like waterfowl and stuff, their, their primary diet is fish. Okay. And that's why they were endangered was because we use DDT in okay. the environment okay. like for fertilizer. And that killed the bugs, but it got in the bugs and then the fish ate it. And then the eagles ate the fish. And that causes the, the eagles' eggs to okay. like have weak shells that would break really easily. Uh, okay. So not as many kid babies survive. Okay. So it wasn't necessarily that we were hunting them no. to extinction. It's that we poisoned them. Yes. Well, and we poisoned the bugs, which poisoned the fish, fish which poisoned. poisoned the eagles. Yes. Wow. There's a, there's a phenomenon, an entire ecosystem. There's a phenomenon called biomagnification where it gets more intense the higher up you go because okay. it's eating multiple of that creature. Okay. So the effects are even worse on bald eagles because they're high up the food chain. It magnifies the effects. To so like the fish ate a thousand bugs. Yeah. And then the, the, the bird eats a hundred fish. Yeah. So the bird ate a hundred thousand bugs. Yeah. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Put poison's worth of yeah. bugs. Wait, this isn't really. I, th- I think it's only like two to three chicks. In yeah, there. I don't think when we've seen nests. Now, interesting fact. So here in Illinois, along the rivers, the Kankakee and the DuPage and the, uh, there you'll you'll see eagles nests. There's one right down the street from us, actually. Yeah, right in Shorewood, like uh, literally down the street that we're on. Oh, I mean, yeah, at Hamill. Like we just oh wore. Hamill Woods. Yeah, so there's up in Hamill Woods. That's right. There's one up in Hamill yeah. Woods. There's one down here in. What's this called? Lake Renrock has one. Lake Renrock. But what's this where we just were in Shorewood? Hamill. Yeah, it's Hamill. Woods. So that's also Hamill? Yes. Hamill just owns a lot of woods. 
It's a very long one. Oh, uh, okay. It goes all the way to that dog park. Uh, I gotcha. Yeah. So lots of them around here. And if you go down to Kankakee River. Starved Rock. Starved Rock, You yeah. can see lots of them at Starved Rock. You'll yeah. see a lot of them. So, I mean, they're also up in like Alaska and even down in Florida. I mean, they're, they're, they live in North America is their home. Yeah, and their, their range. The, but they will, they will follow the waterways. Yeah, because they, they eat fish and reasons. waterfowl. Yeah. And they're, so this is the one thing I happen to know a lot about because the rest of the animals, I don't know. But yeah. this one, so it's there, because like there's, there's a documentary that I watched a few times as a kid, and you probably yeah. were there. We've gotten to see the Eagle Watch at Four Rivers, yes. and they showed us that documentary, yeah, <laughs> which was crazy because I hadn't seen the documentary in ages. It's like a PBS documentary, but yeah. like a really old one, and I was, like, <laughs> and then. You also, and then we also went and saw the eagles. Yeah, yeah. and we have them by here. Yeah. And uh, so their nests are enormous. Yes. You want to know the specifics? Yeah, yeah. 8.2 feet wide and 13 feet deep. Deep? Yeah. 13 feet deep? <laughs> yeah. How do we see the baby's heads up over the edge? We don't, not really, we don't. Or is that with Also, that's depth. the largest nest. Is that, is that width and depth? Depth, not height. That I think it's depth. Depth, yeah. not height. Also, okay. realize bald eagles will, they love collecting sticks and building the nest, and they will do it until the nest breaks. Okay, or it takes the tree down. They will not stop until it destroys itself. <laughs> so they're constantly remodeling. Yes. Rearranging the furniture. Yes, and but also they they will use the same nest every year, I believe. They um, will. They will go back to the same nests. I know yeah. we see them come back to the same mm -hmm. nests. Um, and then when that one breaks, they'll move on to the next one. Yeah. yeah. And we've even seen where, like, a storm has taken out a tree with an eagle's nest in it. But because the nest survived, the eagle stayed in the nest, which is yeah. kind of dangerous for their eaglets. Yeah. E I think it is eaglets, actually. Eaglets, yeah. I mean, you can also just say chicks. Um, yeah. But, they, yeah, because the, the, the nests get heavy. I mean, think of 13 feet by 8 foot by – they got to be a foot or two tall. Yeah. That's a lot. That's like a whole tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Piled up in bits mm -hmm. in a tree. <laughs> yeah. also, so here's a good view of it. Here's a view of the eagle. And um, – They also have white tails. And they pair for life, do they? They do pair for life, yes. Okay. Other, like, penguins, a lot of penguins do that. Uh, I think some penguins do that. I okay. think some albatrosses do that. So it's not, like, uncommon. So birds, birds. and penguins. <laughs> There's an inside joke on my way home with one of my friends. Um, We're just picking on you. A couple days ago. Yeah. yeah. He, we, there was some joke, and it ended up being that penguins are penguins and not birds. But penguins are birds. But, yeah, that that's the inside joke. But not all birds are penguins. Yeah. Sadly. Because they're adorable and they're dressed well. Um, so, and, okay, so what are other interesting facts that we I have know? one thing, okay. okay? This is what a bald eagle sounds like in Hollywood. Okay. Is this going to work? I hope this works. Oh, no, it's so normally when you hear that, that, that fierce battle cry, uh, of a bald, of a, of a bald eagle, quote unquote, and it's kind of that screeching cry here. Is that even working? Well, I'll add it in okay. if we didn't. So, but anyway, that's what you normally hear on television. Yeah. But an actual but bald no, eagle. But no, no. That's a red-tailed hawk. That's a red -tail, Right. But that, that's what you hear on television for an eagle. Yeah. But that's not actually an eagle. An actual eagle. Sounds like a baby chick. What, like your sport. I was going to do oh, the sorry. noise. Sorry. 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 Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. I have to wait. I'm going to have to hope it. We wait for the internet. The internet's on. It's the weekend. So yeah. the internet's. It hasn't had a donut, which makes one of us. Oh, here, wait. So kind of sounds like a seagull. Yeah. Pretty but, much. Yeah. So that's why Hollywood uses the red tail hawk, because they thought the bald eagle sounded like a baby. Yeah. So... <laughs> But it makes okay, but think, but but the bald eagle is really a water, yeah, a creature of the water. I want to say, but you know, a it lives bird. and hunts a seabird, not, yeah, not, or like a water bird, water bird. Yeah. Um, so it makes sense that it would have to talk to the seagulls for flight patterns and yeah. you know, 
Yeah, it's for literally landing. a sea eagle. It's it's classified as a sea eagle. Oh, sea eagles. I did not know that. Because there's, uh, there's a okay. lot, like, a lot of actually large eagles are like that. Like, I believe Stellar Sea Eagle, which also just has it in the name. Yeah. It's a very large Russian eagle. Yeah. Like, Stellar Sea Eagles are huge. We saw them at Cincinnati. How big do they get? They can get up to 22 pounds. Oh. So, yeah, they're big. So, like, twice as big yeah, as the... They're, they're the world's heaviest eagle. Oh. Yes. Not like as big as an albatross or anything, but albatrosses have long wings and actually bigger. that heavy. Oh, okay. Thing. The largest bird is the heaviest, I believe, is a tie between Andy and Condor. Well, for flying, yeah, flying ostrich bird. is obviously the heaviest bird, but it's yeah. a tie between Andy and Condor and Marabou Stork. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, so yeah, so they, so yeah, they sound like seagulls. Yeah, because they're sea eagles. Mm-hmm. Um, and they like seafood. Yes. <laughs> seafood <laughs> and they have to talk to the seagulls because a lot of traffic just scare them off a lot of traffic in the air yeah. oh but no but large birds often are bullied by, by little sputsies that's the sputsy well the the big birds usually don't care it's that the little birds are defending their They're nests just, the little birds are annoying yeah and so it's more annoying yeah. but yes yeah but the little birds feel like that elf in uh prep and landing yeah. It look, <laughs> the kids, yes. the kids, the reindeer fired up. <laughs> Fire up the engines. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, that's Bald Eagle. And uh, Four four Rivers, um, Hamel Woods, anywhere along the Kankakee River, really. Anywhere, the uh, Stoft Rock. Stoft Rock, Any yeah. Any major river, you eventually you can probably find yeah. in North And America, typically, yeah. typically rivers... Lakes, but typically rivers. Mainly rivers. Mainly think, rivers. Yeah. Because the fish move hither, yon, hither, yon, hither, yon. Um, and they, they'll also eat things like American coots. I know for a fact they hunt American coots. Okay. So, yeah. So, and then they will, I'm assuming if they had to, they'd pick up a muskrat or a. Yeah, if they had to. But primarily something. it's fish and then fish. waterfowl. Okay. And these aren't, they don't, like some birds dive into the water. They spot the fish and grab it with their talons. They grab it with their talons. I mean, they technically end up like they submerge a little, but not not like a peregrine yeah. falcon or something. Okay, no. Okay, so that so good eyesight, obviously. Yes, all birds of real most all birds of prey have really good eyesight, and that so really they'd also have to account for like refraction. Yeah, because when you look in the water, the fish is not where I you mean, see it, which um, is his best arch, defense. Um, archer fish are fish that literally are they archer fish shoot water at yeah. bugs on sticks. Yeah. And they account for for the and if a fish yeah. can do that, I assume a, a eagle can do that. Well, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. the eagles have to any any bird that hunts yeah. fish has to mm-hmm. account for the yeah. refraction of the water. Um, so that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, lots of places to see them around here. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, they're protected. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think even if you find a if you find Same. an eagle's feather. You're okay. not legally. You're not allowed. Okay. To... The thing is, you're really not allowed to keep any feathers. I don't think, but they really are on top of eagle feathers because it's like a Native American tradition for to the, collect for the them. Headdresses. And so stuff. it's kind of like their right to the feather. Yeah. So I believe it's part. And there's more significance to. I mean, we all think of the headdress, which it is, but there's a significance think, to that. It's yeah, not just because ooh, that looks cool. There's an actual significance yeah. to it, and I don't want to. I don't know enough about it. Yeah, I don't know it, either. Yeah. But yeah. Um. But yeah. So I mean, but you. I mean, if you find a blue jay's feather or something, I think it's technically go illegal. You. But like, unless but eagle feathers are literally like yeah. they'll go after you. I think all feathers are technically legal because there's no way to prove that you got it. So well, it's the same, but yeah. like, no one's gonna go out of your way if you have like a blue jay feather. Right. In your house. What they're trying to prevent, as I understand it, is you plucking the feather. Yes, never do that. Right, that's you bad. don't ever want to pull a feather out. So that's really what they're trying to prevent. And you, yeah. it's it would be I difficult mean, for you to prove. Think about on the ground. do you want people to pull your hair out? It, that's the same principle. Yeah, well, in a hair, th- I mean, th- it's th- they're yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, and um. I mean, and you don't see a lot of eagle. I mean, we find feathers all over the place. Eagle feathers. I don't see eagle feathers. I mean, it's probably only around like where they nest a lot and stuff. And they stay all winter. Yes. They don't. Bald eagles don't migrate. So they will. Well, they'll only move their hunting ground enough to get through the ice. 
Yes, but that's so they'll like, hunt further and further and further up and down river if yes. the water if the river freezes. So their preferred nesting spot. And that's would also be, like, for example, they hunt coots. I think more often in the winter because okay, there's no fish. It's frozen. So their preferred if they if they find really good real estate to an eagle, that would be a high, strong, well protected tree over an area of the river that tends to not freeze solid. Yes, I would assume mm-hmm. that would be what an eagle real estate agent. Yeah, would be looking to sell. That would be high That's value Eagles property. Don't sell. Location, location, location. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also, there's that pair on the Fox River that we. Used to yeah, the Fox River. There's some yeah. up on the Fox River. That's the ones where the tree fell down. Mm, but they yeah. they stayed because the nest stayed and the it was huge. I thir- I guess yeah. Well, I mean, it was enormous. And I wonder if that's the same pair that moved next to the bridge. Oh, maybe could have come down river. Yeah, yeah. could have come down river. That's yeah, interesting. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So lots of birds up at, on the chain of lakes, uh, pelicans and yeah, and then pel- fox, those are the ones with the yeah pelicans, pelicans. at the pouch. Yeah. And then pelicans. Fox River has like usually has like a blue great blue heron nesting colony too. That's yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, and right now it's it's red headed crane. Oh, sandhill crane migration. Sandhill crane season. migration yeah. season. We only have two cranes in North America: sandhills and whoopings. And whoopings are very rare now; they're yeah. pretty endangered. But sandhill cranes are more common. So, and you'll hear like huge flocks. And flying I've over. seen, yeah, I've seen sandhill cranes at least twice flying over my subdivision. Yeah. So. they land in Darien. They stop where there's a little lake at uh, Cass Avenue and 55 on the Carmelite campus, and the, they stop there, mm-hmm. and then when they want to get out of the sun, they go in the trees over by the museum and just chill out. Yeah. <laughs> Which is cool. crazy. You can get, yeah. like, within 10 feet of them. Don't bug them. Yes. But you can, but you really, when you're walking out of the building, they're like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Birds are cool. I want to walk <laughs> with birds specifically when I grow up. Because I just find them fascinating. Yeah, they are kind of cool. And they're like, I mean, they are dinosaurs too, and that helps. Yeah. Okay. I'm just amazed, like the strength of a bald eagle. Yeah. Considering weighs so little, because hollow bones, you'd think they'd be yeah. so fragile, which I'm sure to some extent they are. Yeah, but they're pulling like trout and coots out of the water. Yeah, out of the water, and just yeah. and the battles that they have, and even the mating. Mating, yeah, they hook talons and fall together. Yeah. That's the main, which of a lot yeah. of birds, I think specifically bald eagles, but I think a and, lot of birds. And I think bald. a lot of uh, uh, hawks. Yeah, re- also a good that. thing, red-tailed yeah. hawks are the largest hawk. So they're probably oh, okay. more similar to eagles than the rest of the hawks because they're so big. Okay. And there's there's golden eagles. Yes. Um, and There's a lot of eagles. Philippine, harpy, but are, stellar But do we have golden sea. around here? Golden eagles do live in North America. But I mean in Midwest? I believe they are, but I don't think they're as common. Because I feel sure. like we've seen a golden eagle, but maybe that was just at a zoo or I mean, a uh, uh, animal. We've seen we've seen the go- recovery. We center. we do get golden eagles. We do get gold. Not um, as, not actually, as I think common. we're kind of like they don't. Um, according to this map, we're like in their non-nesting area. Okay, so, so they, they may don't be passing nest through or something. Yes, they might pass through or hunt here, but we don't okay. have like I don't think we have like a permanent population. But that would be really as far as eagles in our area. Yeah, it's bald. It's just bald. But and we the, can the occasional get gold, golden. the occasional golden, which also yeah. can be hard to tell because juvenile bald eagles look like golden eagles. Yeah, because so. they're yeah because they're darker. Yeah. And they when do they get their way? Like a year, two, three? When do they start getting their their gray hair? <laughs> the bald part. Yeah, the bald part. Which I still think it's funny because they're not bald. It's <laughs> yeah. just white feathers. <laughs> When they reach sexual maturity. Okay, that's great. When do they reach sexual maturity? <laughs> this would be nice to know. Yeah, th- their diet's mainly fish, but yeah. like, they they can eat carrion. They can get up, they can kill things up to Canadian geese. Wow. Oh wait. Yeah, with prey. Bird bird prey may occasionally well be kill, but not fly around with it in their talons. No, they okay. could not. They <laughs> will attack it in midair, but I don't think they fly around. So they just knock it out of the sky. Bald eagles can fly with fish at least equal to their own weight. Okay, but if the fish is too heavy to lift, the eagle may be may drag it into the may be dragged Across into the, the water, water and yeah. then they can swim and they'll bring it to the shore. Okay, but yes, a twelve pound bald eagle can carry a twelve pound fish. I have seen video of bald eagles with fish in their talons. And they're kind of swimming oh, for lack I was of a better talking about the American coot. There's an image on Wikipedia of it literally attacking an American coot. Yeah. Okay. And oh, okay. So in 
in Colony Rock in New or New in Oregon, mm-hmm. in the Oregon Islands Refuge, they right. attack common Murrays. Okay. But they're like I I don't I think they can fly, but they're like they like nest there. So they're probably picking off like infants okay. or like you know, so the little guys because it's a giant something. colony. They just have to fly in and grab one. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they, a bald eagle. Bald eagles apparently do attack swans, but usually younger ones. I think, and and, and that's rare. And so when they do, all birds, including eagles and all that, do the regurgitating thing. Yes, to feed their chicks. Okay, so they don't like strip off a little piece of fish and no. feed it to the. Chi- also, okay, okay. bald eagles can hunt mammals. I mean, we're talking from like rabbits well, yeah, and rabbit hares, yeah. even porcupines. But that's <laughs> more of an. But that's rarer. The only thing that really hunts porcupines is greyhound owls. Yeah, that's kind of a prickly yeah. subject. And they even will, like, you know, on the coast, they'll scavenge on, like, whale caucuses if they draw. Whale most, caucuses. Most carnivores, like, I mean, even here, they're like, they oh, they'll hunt eat lizards. The meat. It's yeah, just... they hunt lizards. In Alaska, they might even eat sea urchins. It's, it's whatever they can eat. But yeah, primarily, yeah. they eat, eat fish. fish. So that's why we say they eat fish, because it's what they primarily eat. Well, how long did, how, is it, how long do eagles tend to live? To what age? Um, longevity and morality they have a whole section on it a captive individual in new york lived nearly 50 years wow but in general they live okay you're telling me how often they die you're not telling me how How often they die oh around 20 years oh that's the oldest wild one being 38 that's still pretty good birds seem to have long lifespans in general yeah I mean, that's why I was like tortoises. Yeah, and, well, tortoises can live like two hundred sometimes. Yeah, and and crocodiles are alligators. Yeah, or crocodiles. I think people live. I think that we just have all. I don't think crocodiles actually have babies. I think we just have the original ones from prehistory or still right. alive. Apparently, the deaths for eagles are twenty three percent. So this is a study done. Okay, who did this study? Um. National Wildlife Federation watched. So like, okay, a yeah. national thing. Yeah. Of 1,428 individuals from necropsies by the National Wildlife Health Center from 1963 to 1984, 23% died from trauma tr- from, like, oh, car cars accident or, or yeah, car accident okay. or wires. Yeah. 22% died from gunshot. Okay. St- stop shooting eagles. That's dumb. Don't shoot eagles. 11% died from poisoning. 9% died from electrocution. 5% died from trapping. And 8% from – I don't even know what that word says. What's, how do you spell it? E M A C I A T emaciation emaciation oh, Star- starved to death two percent from disease and twenty percent is like natural so sixty eight percent of mortality was human caused that's why people are like doing conservation because yes animals will naturally go extinct eventually right but if us doing one species is causing 68% mortality rate on, like, every species ever. That's not that. That's too Yeah, bad. that's too bad, Dad. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, so. That's a huge percentage, I mean, yeah. of mortality. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Well, I think that wraps up. Bald eagles. Bald eagles. Yeah, actually, I'll, um, I'll, t- I'll take them one more time. Bald eagles. Um, so, cool. Yeah. All right. Bald eagles. All right.